Hey guys, today we're looking at Pop! OS. I'm actually going to be downloading it. I'm going to be continuing the series on privacy and operating systems. And I'm going to be setting up, installing Pop! OS. I'm also going to show you how to check the checksums to ensure the data integrity. Basically, a uh, checksum is when you run the file through an algorithm and you want it to match up with the given checksums that the developers have included for you. And when you're checking these checksums, let's take a look at them real fast. Here is where you'll download Pop! OS, which is a very fast operating system. Some friends have recommended it to me, and I have been running Tails for the last several weeks, and I need to get something installed on my hard drive. So I thought now is as good a time as any, and it's great for beginners. So I wanted to do this video partly as the introduction to this series on Pop! OS, where we're going to go through a lot of different things and I'm going to be videotaping parts of my setup to share with you guys so that you can follow along if you'd like and you can implement some of these privacy things as well along the way. So the checksum that is given to us by the System76 developers is right here. You'll just highlight it, then copy it, and what we'll do is we're going to run it against the actual image. So I'm going to open a terminal now. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to show that download. That is the name of the ISO image file. We're going to burn it to a USB stick today, but first off we want to make sure that checks on matches. Otherwise we could be in the middle of a... this is a way you can prevent being a victim of a man-in-the-middle attack file swap, wherein if you were under a man-in-the-middle attack, potentially you could be downloading a backdoored image, and you want to make sure you always check these checksums as a basic precaution there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to see what the actual checksum is of the ISO image I downloaded and we're going to check it against the one given to us by the developers. And it's always a good idea to check a third party. For example, certain Linux operating systems will include a zipped archive which includes a file with checksums in it. But in a man in the middle attack, the party on the other end could just as easily slip in the correct checksums for a backdoored image. So you want to ensure that you check through a third party and not from the download itself. And what I mean by that is if they have a repository or something that gives you the checksums, check there. So check from another source on the internet. And the more you can verify it this way, the more you can be ensured that you are checking the correct checksums. Hope that makes sense. If you have questions, please leave a comment on it and I'll be happy to answer it. So let's go ahead and run this and check the checksums. It looks like it is an SHA-256 sum. So let's go ahead and do SHA-256 sum. And then we'll do the pop ISO image and press enter. And it should return if all is well and the image is the correct image, it will return this exact number in return. It's got to run the entire ISO image through the algorithm and so it's going to take a couple moments to get that out for us. While we're waiting, let's take a look at what Pop! OS has to offer. It's from the System76 developers, they're actually mentioned on a blog post of mine recently where I talked about Intel Management Engine. You can check out my blog at the description. I'll leave it as a link for you guys. But I did include this in the options for hardware manufacturers that do make Intel Management Engine neutered copies of hardware. So you can get a computer. It's one of the options. I did a whole article on this and all the different options you have for basically making Intel Management Engine not run the same way it was designed to run. And we all know about the security implications of Intel Management Engine, a remote backdoor in your hardware. It is a backdoor. Yes, it is said not to be. It is said to be a remote administration tool, but 
I consider it a backdoor because it's not up to the user to remove it. It actually took a blacklisted uh, company called Positive Technologies to actually find the fix, which is the HAP bit, which when set will actually prevent some of the Intel Management Engine from running. So check that article out if you have an interest in Intel Management Engine and how that works, what it is, some of the different companies offering hardware systems that do not include it. So we're going to go ahead and look at Pop! OS. Make sure once you download it, you run that command I just showed you. As you can see, we can now compare to the developer provided checksums. Let's go ahead and take a look, make sure everything matches up, and then we can go ahead and flash it. So checking this first several characters, it looks good to me. And what we'll do now, I usually would use DD to flash an image to my USB disk, but I want this video to be user friendly enough that a Windows user can actually follow along perfectly. So what you would next do is download at your unless you know how to use DD, you can see some of my previous videos for that. And go ahead, if you're a Windows user, you can change the operating system here and download Etcher, which is going to allow us to select our drive. It's as easy as that. Opening up Etcher on my system, we can see that all you need to do is flash it from a file. You'll select that file and then you will select the drive. I'm actually on cubes right now so what I'm gonna need to do is make it available and now what I need to do is grab that file from the directory where I downloaded in my download directory clicking open now I select the target happens to be this one right here. Yours may be a different name. You can easily check what your actual disk is by simply running the DMESG command after inserting your USB and it should prevent print your device name. You can also do LSBLK and it'll show your device match up the actual size of the disk and that way you can be sure that you're using and flashing to the correct disk. Once you find out your USB drive's name, on Windows of course it'll be much more easy. The disk may be called E drive, F drive, or something of that sort. So go ahead and select your disk that you're going to flash to. Hit select and now it's as easy as hitting flash. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and take a look at what Pop! OS has to offer. It's actually based on Ubuntu, and Ubuntu operating system is based on Debian, which is a strong, very reliable operating system. So once I finish flashing this, once Etcher finishes its job, which is almost finished, it's about halfway there, then what we're going to do is I'm going to actually reboot my system, I'm going to turn off secure boot, and I'm going to change the actual rotation of the boot priority list. On your system, depends on your hardware, but you, if you use Lenovo, for example, I know it's F1, or sometimes F10 or F11, that'll bring you to your BIOS. You can easily look that up and find out what it is for your system. And at that point, you'll want to move your USB disk to the very top of the boot list. And at that point, it will boot right to the installer. And we can get started at that point. Once I get it installed, I'm going to go through a lot of the different processes I may go through to help increase privacy and security on my own personal system. And I'm going to share that with you guys. I wanted to do this to help beginners more because I know a lot of my videos aren't meant for somebody who's never stepped foot into Linux, but I want to be able to be a channel and a platform that people can actually come to and actually learn everything they need to learn. So I'm going to be doing more of these beginner videos to try and help out everyone. And it was also a request someone had 
to see more beginner material, and I really appreciate that. I always appreciate suggestions. If you have suggestions for future videos, just leave a comment or send me an email. You know, get in touch with me. Let me know what you think, what you thought about the latest video, what you think could be done differently and what you want to see and I'll be happy to try and see if it if it sounds like something that will be something a lot of people are interested in I'll be happy to do it it takes several hours to make each video edit make the cover sheets upload promote them and of course I want to make sure it's something that helps out as many people as possible I'm gonna be setting this up for video editing also some graphic design stuff and along the way we're gonna work with some other things to basically restrict certain things that don't need access and other simple things that we can do to help improve our experience in both privacy and security Pop OS is one of those operating systems that's come highly recommended to me, and I've actually been pretty excited for a while to try this out, but I was looking through all different types of distributions, and last what we looked at was we looked at Cubes, we looked at Hunix, and we also looked at the Tails operating system. What we're looking at now is distrowatch.com, and I'm going to talk briefly about that. If you want to see more on pop os you can fast forward through this part but what you want to do with distrowatch.com is it'll allow you to look through all the different reviews that are done by real users and in that way you can find out what's the best operating system for you find out what people think about the operating system so if you want to support pop os there's ways you can do that on the system 76 website and I will leave links to the download. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the BIOS. We're going to change the boot priority. What I want you to do is, now that your image is flashed, take your USB and make sure it's plugged in and move that boot priority list up on your BIOS. Then, reboot the computer and you should be in Pop! OS Installer. And that's what I've got today, guys. Make sure to follow along if you want to see more on Pop! OS. I'm going to go through more of this with you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out and make sure everything flashed properly. Make sure to follow me over at the blog, politictech.wordpress.com. There's also a supporter blog, which has more posts, which is buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. There's also some extra uh, offerings there if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, we have an Odyssey channel here, odyssey.com slash at sign RTP. Follow at Twitter at TV Privacy and over at YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description there. I have all kinds of playlists for you from Python, OS Intelligence, Open Source Intelligence, Linux Command Line, Radio, Linux, Privacy, of course, and Security. So I have all those things. If you're interested in following along, make sure to subscribe, share the video, like, and I will be back later with more on Pop! OS.